the true volume of microplastics in the Antarctic. Uncovered for the very first time, we examine the latest evidence. Today we're focusing on Antarctica and a study published in New Zealand which reveals for the first time the presence of microplastics in Antarctic snow. Well, our correspondent Phil Mercer joins us now from Sydney. Phil, just how significant is this new study? Well, when researchers from the University of Canterbury in New Zealand set out to sample fresh snowfall in Antarctica in the latter part of 2019, they said they were pretty confident that they wouldn't find any microplastics. They took samples from 19 locations and uh, they were pretty surprised with what they found because they discovered microplastics in every location, including locations near scientific bases and also more remote places too. So this is a significant moment according to those researchers. They say that this is the very first published study that confirms the presence of microplastics uh, in Antarctica. Now they believe these uh, bits of plastic debris could have uh, flown on the air over thousands of kilometers or more likely from nearby scientific bases. The presence of people on Antarctica they believe could well have uh, produced this uh, microplastic footprint. So uh, in one of the most remote and pristine areas in the world, scientists have discovered these plastic contaminants. I guess on the one hand, we, we should be alarmed because this is new information um, about, um, you know, um, the climate and, and, and about how we're polluting the planet. But maybe also we should be grateful in terms of the findings and the learnings that we can get from this. Sometimes uh, bad news is necessary news. And uh, what the researchers at the University of Cam uh, Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand, are saying is that uh, these microplastics, they are much smaller than a grain of rice. They can be harmful to people if we inhale them, if we breathe them in. It can also be uh, damaging to marine organisms if they are ingested or eaten. In a broader sense, the researchers say there is a potential for these microplastics to influence climate change. Now, many of these bits of plastic debris are dark in color. They are blue or black and they can absorb sunlight creating very small localized areas of heating. Now when researchers analyzed these plastic uh, pieces they found uh, more than a dozen types of plastic. The most common came from plastic soft drink bottles and clothing and the message is from this research team for the, the rest of the world is that the management of plastic, the manufacture of plastic and the, the care of it when it's uh, been finished with by consumers is of the utmost importance. So you're absolutely right. This is uh, shining a light on uh, a serious problem that is now affecting parts of Antarctica. Yeah, and I guess the hope is that policy will um, improve due to this, these discoveries.